so hi guys, I am back with the final part of uh, the ambulance train set pack. Um, as we discussed with the city of Birmingham, the locomotive, um, people are now separating the sets to sell it on. Um, you've got the coaches here, you've got the loco, and you've got the men, and, and sometimes there's boxes too. At uh, this time we're going to look at the coaches. Uh, these are all Midland coaches, and they're all by Backman. Um... Yeah, they look very nice and all that. Um, so as you see, we've got two end ones and a middle one, I think composite. Um, and I think people buy them as dear as probably 60 to 80 pounds for the set. Uh, obviously there's some greedy people out there. So what we'll do is we'll look at um, an end and a middle and then we'll have a running session with a few uh, locos. joy after the tragedy of the wreck. And they sit up talking and smoking till late <laughs> because they are so surprised and pleased to be alive. Take time. Your day is taken up in rapid Come with me, Now I just want to watch Coastie. So yeah, as we take a look at this side, the roof and um, the front, the buffers are not sprung, they're plastic and moulded. Uh, the coupling are the screw ones, um, a small one at that. We have some steps down here. We have some frosted uh, glass in each end of the windows, which I guess is the toilet. We have a separate, looks like separate hand, uh, handrail doors. We have a little handrail there. We have steps going up one side of it as well. We have the red cross on the roof and the side of the loco. Uh, we also have the 40 there and there. We have some great on the frame detail uh, down here too. Uh, the, all the coaches are Midland variety and I believe they stem back from Airfix. So let's move on to the middle coach which I believe is a composite coach. As you can see, it has the 40 there and there. It has some more steps up here. It sadly you can't see it, I apologise. It has these um, plastic gangways, which do bend back. As you can see. Roofs again, uh, same with the handles. Uh, the glass is same, but both interiors are the same as well. It's just the uh, typical um, corridor one, which is wrong for this type of um, coach. If I'm going to pick a fault, uh, we have 
Certified handrails here, which you can tell, 40, 40 again on the side. Uh, the bogey detail isn't too bad. And the underframe detail is the um, same as the one on the other coach, which is pretty good. And we have the red cross on them again. I do apologise, there's not much really to point out.
so yeah guys that's the end of the running session um yeah we so we had a mixture of locos there we had some private some american um we had one from the big big four of technically five if you include this one here which is a class as a br loco and we had two southern locos so yeah they really look nice with any um steam train uh even D, I think diesels might work if you're doing some sort of special gala. Um, the coaches themselves, well, um, they have lots of detail. Got the fence there that I've missed. I do apologise. Um, yeah, if you can get hold of them and you're into your war era or your war stock, yeah, um, yeah, I could get a hold of them. Uh, if you don't like the loco, obviously try and buy the coaches separate. Uh, would be my um, ideal thing. If you don't like the city of Birmingham in the khaki livery, um, see so it doesn't look too bad with this uh, WD um, from the longer, more military military railway. Uh, so yeah, if you get hold of them, do, and if if you really want them, uh, you know. Get hold of them if you don't, you know, it's just something different, really, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, that, that's my um, uh, review slash running session of these uh, locos. Like I said, the only downside to them for me is the interior doesn't represent an ambulance um, train uh, to me, but that's just me being picky if I had to find a problem. It's the one I'd find. So yeah guys, until next time, it's goodbye from these beauties, and it's goodbye from me. Bye.